Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. 2017 UAS for STEM National Competition. FAI certifies long distance UAV record. DJI to allow offline operations. Hi, I'm Bree Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. On Saturday, August 19th, high school students from across the U.S. competed in the UAS for STEM National Competition at the International Aeromodeling Center in Muncie, Indiana. The student teams built their own drones and competed in a search and rescue challenge for the national title. The contest is designed to teach science, technology, engineering, and math skills. The 2017 UAS for STEM Search and Rescue Challenge's first place winners are MMRT from Peachtree City, Georgia, who were awarded a trophy, medals, and a $2,500 cash prize. The Quad Raptors of Maryland took second place, and the St. Mary CAP Squadron Blue of Maryland took third place. The Dewey O. Broberg Jr. Scholarship was also awarded to one of the competitors during the UAS for STEM National Competition. The award recognized a team member who showed dedication, determination, and adherence to the rules and purpose of the competition. Congratulations to Robbie Van Zell, the recipient of the 2017 Dewey Broberg Jr. Memorial Scholarship. The Academy of Model Aeronautics Foundation would like to thank the family of Dewey O. Broberg Jr. for establishing this scholarship and thank each supporter who has made contributions to the fund. For more information, check out uas4stem.org. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It made a bit of a fuss when first announced, but Drones Direct out of the UK has pulled their listing for a Phantom 4 modified to undertake the chore of walking man's best friend. The media loved the idea and gave it a lot of press, but DJI reportedly took offense at the 2,000 pound offering, and so the augmented Phantom K9 Walker has been curbed. A new FPV racer has debuted with the September availability of Arix Drones Da Vinci. Labeled as a mid-size aerial photography racing drone hybrid, DaVinci offers live streaming onboard FPV camera capabilities at up to 720p at 25 frames per second. The UAV is capable of speeds up to 30 miles per hour with 15-minute flight times. The $295 package comes with the drone, controller, FPV monitor, batteries for the vehicle and its controller, blades, charger, and tools. A little out of our normal realm, but otherwise noteworthy, is the upcoming AMA Foundation for the Future Jet Rally, running from August 24th through the 27th. The event is held in conjunction with Fly Iowa 2017. The AMA Jet Rally will be held at the Ottawa Regional Airport on a 100 by 3500 runway, close to full-scale aircraft for the weekend. The pilot registration fee for the event is $75 and includes the pilot steak dinner with live entertainment, meet and greet with airshow pilots and VIPs, as well as one pit crew pass. DJI is releasing a new firmware update to further enhance flight safety and performances of the DJI Spark. The update enhances Spark's battery management system to optimize power supply during flight. In addition, the new firmware has added support to fully integrate Spark with the DJI goggles, optimize the palm launch function for better stability after takeoff, improve the accuracy of controls under the quickshot drony mode, and enhance the compatibility of the remote controller when syncing up with new firmware updates. Among the nearly 100 videos we've undertaken in partnership with AMA and found on the AMA Drone Report YouTube channel, is a neat profile from this year's Consumer Electronics Show featuring the Hover Camera Selfie Drone. Just check out amadronereport.com and search for Aero TV, Hover Camera Passport, a gesture-controlled selfie drone. That was our Drone Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Think batteries on your FPV racer run down too fast? 
How'd you like to keep up with a machine that can fly for days at a time? Well, the unmanned vanilla aircraft VA001 flew for 56 hours without refueling, setting a world record. The FAI just ratified the duration world record for the VA001, a glider-like airframe powered by a diesel engine that successfully flew, unrefueled for 55 hours, 56 minutes nonstop on December 2, 2016. The flight took place at New Mexico State University's Unmanned Air Systems Flight Test Center near Las Cruces International Airport, New Mexico. Once in the air, the VA-001 climbed to its cruising altitudes of 6,500 to 7,000 feet MSL and then flew a figure eight holding pattern for the remainder of the flight. During the flight, it was carrying a 20-pound payload. While the record flight was originally planned for a 120-hour mission, it ended early due to bad weather. After flying nonstop for nearly two and a half days, the VA-001 returned to the starting point. Remarkably, there was enough fuel left on board to fly a further four and a half days. The record claim was ratified by the FAI on August 23, 2017. After some issues raised about vehicle security, DJI is developing a new local data mode that stops internet traffic to and from its flight control apps in order to provide enhanced data privacy assurances for sensitive government and enterprise customers. DJI flight control apps routinely communicate over the internet to ensure a drone has the most relevant local maps and geofencing data, latest app versions, correct radio frequency, and power requirements, and other information that enhances flight safety and functionality. When a pilot enables local data mode, DJI apps will stop sending or receiving any data over the internet, giving customers enhanced assurances about the privacy of data generated during their flights. Because it blocks all internet data, use of local data mode means DJI apps will not update maps or geofencing information, will not notify pilots of newly issued flight restrictions or software updates, and may result in other performance limitations. However, it will provide an enhanced level of data assurance for sensitive flights such as those involving critical infrastructure, commercial trade secrets, governmental functions, or other similar operations. Local data mode has been in development for several months and will be included in future versions of DJI apps starting in the next several weeks. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.